So we're in a crop of spring barley here that was sown two weeks ago roughly, um, which a lot of crops were sown given, given the nice weather that we had over the past couple of weeks. And really the next approach for this uh, is nitrogen and at what rate and timing that we're going to go with it with regard to nitrogen. And I suppose when it comes to malt and barley, it's even more important um, that we that we get the nitrogen on at the right timing and get the rate right so that we get the right protein level uh, come harvest time. So as regards timing, the crop that we're in here today is exactly uh, the timing that we that we want to um, that we want to get when we're going with our nitrogen. And as you can see from, from the tracks here, uh, this has received its, its nitrogen recently. Um, and really, this is the timing when the tram lines are just visible, when the crop is just peeping above the ground uh, and we can get, we get the nitrogen on then. When it comes to rate um, for malt and barley and nitrogen rate uh, for the crop, really it depends on a variety of factors. Okay? And then factors, there'll be things like drilling date, um, site location, previous crop, all these different factors. So there's no one blanket treatment for, that each crop will receive in relation to, to total nitrogen. So the, th the factors that we can look out for for this year is if we take what happened over the winter period we had above average rainfall for the majority of the winter. Uh, we then if we think back to last harvest we had uh, excellent crops coming off um, above average yields and then also we had poor cover crops uh, in the land that, that cover crops were, were growing. So all this, these factors would point towards there being a low residual uh, level of nitrogen in the soil and available for this year's crop. So to plan a nitrogen uh, application um, uh, program for your spring malt and barley, we take in these, the, these three factors um, and then we look at, at our sowing date uh, and, and where the crop is at. So the advice that, that we be given We'll take uh, an example of a field that has been continuous uh, spring malt and barley for a long number of years and really the rate of, of nitrogen for a crop um, in, in that situation would be about 120 units to the acre uh, for brewing and to meet our distilling spec then we cut that back to 110. So they're, they're a guide application rate for that crop that, that has a long that long-term tillage style and but if we tr throw in other factors such as um, a break crop in the rotation or maybe uh, only if not long out of grass uh, then we'll have to look at pulling back that nitrogen rate uh, away from that 120 but that's the basis that, that you work on for your, your long-term tillage site uh, and then work back from there.